better watch your back, because Togelong is here. Boy, Crypto Billy, I'm back with another one. That trailer gets me every time, guys. Let me know what you think about that trailer in the partnership here with the Meme Alliance. Also, in the comments, man, you know, I've been jamming, jamming that new K dot, that new K dot, K dot dropping them shots against Drizzy, man. Let me know who you think is winning the beef. You know, just get our mind off all the, you know, FUD that we're seeing in, in crypto, guys. Make sure that you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and keep your favorite crypto and door to door entrepreneur inside the algorithms. Now, we do have the official partnership here with meme alliance in today's video we're just going to give a quick elon update i think that this is a good look right this gives um this actually puts the project no no, no think about this right with the whole gaming the gaming thing right it, it helps both parties right so the all of the communities that that join this game right they'll see these characters and be like oh that's a cool character let me do research on the project and see how the project is right so i think this is a a very good marketing uh um uh, marketing a uh, piece here for both projects meme alliance and elon man so look to meme lines if you want to see me do a video on meme alliance a full review guys let me know in the comments all right so let's take a look at elon from a chart perspective i'm seeing a few things right because we know i'm um, in the market is it's sick man the market <laughs> i think this is a fake out right I, and um technically normally should i say I, I i try to be you know to, to give caution out there because of okay because you can't get wrecked in this type of environment right but i've been around these type of dips for about two to three years now so i, I can sense when things look a little bit like a fake out i don't know we'll have to see how the fomc affects the market but we're actually getting that sell off before the fomc even though i think j Powell himself self could still be a bit bit hawkish but um y'all let me know what y'all think about the entire um sentiment of the market speaking of sentiment i went to sentiment um great great website here uh sentiment socials and it lets you know whenever a word is trending and these are the top trending uh projects right um based off sentiment and mentions of the token you can see here elon up here with some <laughs> utility tokens in fact i'm not even seeing any other meme coins but elon here so i think that's a good look for the elon token but let's look at the chart here because you can see three day chart is telling us some things that uh, we might need to pay attention to right now the first thing i see on a three day chart is that if the market turns bullish dog along mars can definitely get a bull cross on the three day which would be insane okay because last time we got a bull cross um there was a well i think it was on a daily it was right around here we got a bull cross and we had an insane move to the upside but it was a daily bull cross if the market turns back bullish right the meaning that if a lot of people come in these these retail traders these experienced traders they come and buy these dips right you can see this 50 day moving average cross this 200 day moving average um which will be a bullish cost i would be looking for this if you were looking for an entry point because when it's all said and done the Elon price right now on the three day chart is under the 50 day and 200 day moving average. Every time it's been under the 50 day and 200 day moving average, it's always been a great time to load up on your Elon tokens, which coincides to a momentum change, right? Maybe the MACD uh, finally crosses bullish and we get that momentum change. And even though the stock RSI is peak bearish right now, at some point it will move to the upside. It's gonna take some time because this is the three day chart. And again, um, it, it will be interesting to see what type of structure that Elon will look to build here because we're a lot more closer to the floor than the top. When you think about the local lows, which I believe was like, what, 612? Maybe had went to seven zeros, but I believe like 661 or 612. Something really, really close, right? Really close compared to other tokens. And I'll, I'll show you exactly what I mean on this chart here. Um, this is actually the BTC dominance. I'll show you that afterwards. But check this out here. Um, this is Elon on the weekly, guys. And you can see that we are under the uh, bull market, right? We're under the uh, bull market ban here. So unlike a lot of tokens right now that's kind of like bouncing off the bull market ban or at least holding it as support, Elon has broke it, right? And hopefully this is a wick candle. And we can stay above it but if we do break below it it's always been a good time to to pretty much dca when you're below the bull market ban if the entire cryptocurrency space is bullish so anybody that bought while it was below seen some nice nice gains as it crossed in and up but below here 
seen a nice move as it crossed in and up and now we're back below so do we use the bull market band as resistance now it's this is going to take time to play out because it's the weekly but what we do know is that the stock are size bearish in looking for reversal we just aren't there yet so elon is one of the meme coins the bigger meme coins that got beat up a little bit more um opposed to something like uh we can go with dogecoin since dogecoin is like the, the the king of memes right so let's go to dogecoin and see what we see in here if we swing over here to uh okay it's kind of like reloading slow bear with me guys um we're going to swing over here to uh dogecoin and then we'll take a look at the ETH BTC pair to see if we can potentially see something on a chart that's that's interesting. So again, Dogecoin, perfect example. Dogecoin is going for the reversal, but it's looking to hold its bull market band. So it's not a it's not a, a, a surprise that these projects are in a bullish trend. But now it's looking to break this bullish trend. As you can see, it kind of broke it into, into the middle, but not yet under it like we've seen from Elon. So I've always been saying this in the last six months that Elon probably has the most potential being compared to something like Shiba Inu and Dogecoin because um, Dogecoin here hasn't broke below the bull market band. And I'm not sure if Shiba is has either but we'll check it out stomach roaring bear with me now shiba is well still above so technically she uh, shiba here still bullish and even looking to curl up a little bit early opposed to dogecoin and doge Lamar. so shiba inu is actually a lot more stronger than both dogecoin and elon right now and this could easily turn into a very bullish flag right a very bullish flag if this thing somehow breaks to the upside maybe it bounces off the bull market bands here breaks to the upside but this video is not about shiba inu or doge it's about elon i'm also paying attention to the um bitcoin eth pair as it's looking to confirm bullish momentum and cross over 20 here it's been getting beat up but if we can finally get some action on the eth btc pair um that would be bullish for erc 20 tokens and ethereum and if ethereum bounces from here best believe altcoins will bounce with it right altcoins elon meme coins erc20 tokens will bounce with it so even though there's mass pain inside the market right now there's also mass opportunity guys so i want to kind of like throwing it out there so you guys can have an understanding on what's to come um how i look at it is i'm still waiting for information from the fomc meeting that we'll get tomorrow and then i'll start to decide if i want to enter some dca type of strategies or if i want to take a little bit more off the table if i feel like we could get more pain and try to buy back in lower all right so you always want to weigh your options depending on your time frame some people just believe in hodling i think that hodlers will be rewarded if we are truly in a bull market and we can hit that parabolic stage anybody that holds will be rewarded um like I said, I wouldn't say the best best advice here is to trade this market, but if you're a person that feels like you can time the market or you can go leave for a month, two months, three months and come back and be just fine, hey, let me know in the comments what type of person you are, if you're selling off, if you're holding, if you're bullish. I love to know everybody's opinion. But like what I'm seeing here from the Elon um, token, I also want to say this, if we flip over here, um, I know, you know, I'm not you know i used to be you know paying attention to the whole binance purchasing and you know i really don't get into this any longer but it is something that the community can hold on to right the fact that binance seems to still be um purchasing elon so at some point there is hope um that the uh, the binance exchange could possibly list elon but guys let me know what y'all think about elon are you bearish and bullish don't want to make this video too long but i'm seeing some bullish um things on the chart that can be opportunity right opportunity i'm not saying that charts is bullish but for an opportunist i'm seeing some some bullish things on the chart so let me know what you think about the entire market it's your boy crypto millie i'll see you in the next one